long to get started, and they never really tell you when you have indeed started. Hey, Is this picture too dark? Right, where's Dick? Oh, there, that's Potsy, better. hello, Potsy. Are we starting? We're starting now. We're on. Good evening, Dick. And uh, welcome back to the Hi, Heidi Dick. Show. We're sorry we're so disorganized last week on the show. I can never get any of our guests on the show, partly. We did not have a... Did not, we knew who was going We did not really actually know who the guests were going to be because Wanda Peake never read the names. Where is Wanda? I really can't blame it totally on her, although I do believe she's somewhat at fault, and I think she must have felt guilty for not taking, you know, in, in the way she behaved. She wouldn't take our call. She wouldn't speak to us, and I think that represents a certain amount of guilt, but that's not the point now here tonight, Dick. We have a very special guest with us here tonight. Yes, we know who all our guests are tonight, and we don't want to any... We, we want to make sure we have plenty of time for everybody. And we first have our New York correspondent, Nelson Sullivan. We're so happy to have with us finally live and in person. Oh, it's Yay. great to be here. It's great to be here, Dick. I brought along a lot of my video friends. The from audience New York is slow, but they're appreciative. Dick? Dick? I brought along a lot of my video friends from New York today. And so you're going to show them to us on tape? Yeah, whenever we get started. We're started. All right, so I guess we'll put Whenever you're ready, Dick. Number one, and plus we're having viewer calling questions for Nelson all during the time. Okay, so we have no announcements or anything to make, so you're going to put a tape on. Well, are we, are we going to take phone calls while we're looking at the tape? If you want to. No, they'll, it'll ring when they call. Our technology is such that... Yeah. What is this? Oh, this is out. This is the uh, restroom at area, the, the uh, men's room at area. James St. James and Lisa E., the... The hot young uh, couple, the beautiful people on the scene. There's Michael Musto. This is his new book. Musto's new book. And this is Michael's uh, outfit for the evening. Lisa E. These are the urinals in the men's room at Area. That's an uh, art, art club uh, in Manhattan. Yeah, we can skip this, Dick. This is a strobe effect that they uh, use in the bathroom there. It does kind of lose it once you. I like that effect. On the screen. But it did look very interesting. So that. Those were some of my friends, some of my uh, friends from New York, and I brought along some others. I don't know what this tape's going to be. Dick has uh, putting another tape on here. Oh, this is uh, uh, Wendy Wilde. Here's Wendy Wilde, Michael Ullman from the Pyramid, Wendy Wilde of the Mad Violence. This is the Wickstock Love Fe uh, and Peace Festival in Tompkins Square Park. Peter Zaremba of IRS, and uh, the, uh, I just saw him on MTV last night. The love delegation and what's the flesh tone? The flesh tone. He's uh, he's the drummer for Christy Rose also. This guy in the back. This is Tompkins Square Park. As you can see, there were just uh, millions and millions of people that gathered in the park that day for Miss Bunny's festival of wigs and love and uh, beauty. And uh, here's another audience shot. Mr. Fashion was in the audience. Here's in Michael's book. There's a. Uh, Let's see, I have it marked with a paper towel here, and it's giving me a little problem. Of course, we always do love anything that Miss Bunny does, since she made one of her first appearances on our show. Miss Bunny of Atlanta. And uh, the, the camera did go by uh, Mr. Fashion there a minute ago. This is Mr. Fashion from Michael Muscle from downtown. Mr. Fashion. Here's Miss Bunny herself in her first dramatic role in New York, or the first ultra-dramatic role. She's singing a very touching, poignant ballad, uh, sort of a French ballad. This is in a play called Casanova, done at the Performing Garage, written and uh, produced and directed by Ethel Eichelberger. There's a huge article in The Voice about Ethel Eichelberger last week. And she's been an inspiration to Miss Bunny and so many others. It looked like she got to wear just a wonderful costume in that tape. Well, Dick, so we are taking phone calls, is that correct? We're, the lines are open now. We're taking phone calls if anybody feels like calling. Feel free, you can ask Nelson any question. Oh, this, uh, this is uh, Dana Higgins from my film of uh, Mama Said, a play by Guy Bernotis. This character is uh, Sassy, here's Sissy, and here's uh, Wait, no. Here's Sissy, and this is Sally. This is Sassy. And this one is um, Sister, uh, wait, no, Baby Kelly. Baby Kelly. They're singing a, a touching and poignant song about sisterhood. That looks great. Well, it looks like Dick is going to put another this tape on. And as I mentioned a moment ago, we are taking phone calls. The lines are open. If you have any questions for Nelson, no, Nelson, it Ladies will and gentlemen, Duffy Odom. It will 
Um, I, I, and, want, I don't know. You know, let us know. Like Ask Nelson one. anything you want to at all. Dick Duck is out here. Here's the John studio. Sachs at a show done at the Saint. Uh, this was a Las Vegas show. He's just taken off his clothes, which he tries to do in every show. But John has some fabulous outfits. And here's one of them from uh, Michael Musto's book. This is John Sachs performing at Club 82 or someplace. No, the Pyramid? No, I don't know. But this is the saint and John Sex and his hairdo. This is Katie Kay, his good friend and the fashion designer and singer herself. This is his hair. That is his hair, and she has probably, these are his roots, and she has probably made this outfit for John to wear as he leaves the stage. It happened to be Katie's birthday that night, I remember, because there was a cake later. Is that a light inside his hair then? No, the light just comes through his hair. And it's a beautiful effect. It's a beautiful. It's like crystallized hair. Well, Hatsi, those that's great looking at all of those videos, but Nelson, I'm getting kind of out of breath walking back and forth to the tape machine, so maybe we should take a break and have some entertainment. You know. well, this was lot. entertaining. This was, this. I think this was a lot of entertainment. We'll good. probably... Will there be more? We'll probably see more later, won't we, Dad? When you catch... Are there are two more tapes over there I see long. that you have left over, plus a tape he did of Rosser and one of RuPaul, but we have musical guests live in the studio, so maybe we'll either have that or some kind of musical entertainment come back and... Well, who is that? You, Nelson wants to... And we'll Don't you want to come back later on? Well, we're all going to take a break during the musical... It is... It is we could have done them by now. Both of them. But Dick probably would have had a heart attack by then. Nelson came a long way from New York to be here on the... Michael Musto, before he wrote Downtown, his new book, Random House. Does he look any different now that he has written it? He is, uh, he looks about the same. He's reviewing record album covers here. Someday, I'm gonna review my own album. Is there a speaker on that? And I'm gonna give it a rotten review, just so people will know that I'm an objective journalist. <laughs> <laughs> he aspires to trash, and he's getting there fast. So uh, there's one more tape after this one? I mean, uh, this one? I brought a few more friends along this trip. And um, I don't know what this will be, but let's see. Oh, it's Fireball from the Now Explosion. And, this, and, and here's the sexiest man in show business, Larry T. Fireball's running a close second. Uh, Steven, I don't know. Maybe they're all three tied in La Homa. And Eloise, this is a performance at the Pyramid Club, well. and this is a rarely done song, a new song by the Now Explosion called, uh, called uh, Easy to Please Me, and it's, it's really hot. It's one of the hottest songs I know. They're the hottest group I know. I think Larry T's here in Atlanta tonight. He's in the studio. He's some of the entertainment that's coming up when we finish. The no kidding. Larry T. Dick. Kurt, I don't know. Dick's the one He's who knows. He's in the studio. Larry T. Move on with the show. The no one obviously has any questions for Nelson from the studio audience, although I thought it was fascinating. I personally thought Nelson was fascinating. Oh, I did too. And I, I mean, usually we get calls. I'm sorry. Maybe something's wrong with the telephone. We should kind of check with the switchboard while we're taking a break. So let's have some entertainment and then we'll come back and we'll see Nelson's tape about Rosser and we'll do some other stuff. Oh, great. So I'm, well, I'm looking forward to all this. <laughs>